So, before we touch down and get started on my top 10 places to visit in Iceland, I wanted to pause for a moment and share an amazing project Dana has been working on for the last few months, our new Wild We Roam website. There are sections about photography, health, travel, veganism, and much more coming soon. And the best part about all this news is that right after she finished building our website using Squarespace, we got an email from Squarespace saying they'd like to start sponsoring our content. We decided to use Squarespace to build the new site because they have tons of beautiful templates, amazing 24-7 customer support, and you never have to install, patch, or upgrade anything. So go to squarespace.com slash wildweroam to start your free trial and use the Wild We Roam offer code to get 10% off your first purchase. More on that later. First, let's get back to the trip to Iceland. A little while back, my brother Sean invited me to tag along on his friend Colby's bachelor party trip through Iceland, along with this guy we like to call Buffer. The plan was to rent a car and try and see as much of the island as possible. We ended up seeing about 20 different sites, but I thought I'd show you the top 10 of them, in order of how much I personally liked them. So stick around to the end to see my absolute favorites. Alright, let's get to it. Do you guys want me to drive down to this river thing? Or are we alright? Yes. Okay. It's always a yes, Sean. First up, there's the Great Geyser, which I give 2 out of 5 stars because it's crowded, touristy, but still oddly mesmerizing and definitely worth a quick 15 minute stop since it's on the way to a lot of other attractions. What a way more. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna wait and see if it goes a little more. Next up, there's the Solheimaya Kutla Glacier, the biggest glacier I've ever seen and a pretty impressive sight. Husavik is a tiny town in northern Iceland, home to these two guys. It has a population of 2,182. And while the town has become a popular destination for whale watching tours, we just stopped by for a quick lunch before heading out in search of waterfalls and puffins. Skogafoss gets 5 stars because it's probably the most impressive waterfall I've ever seen and I really like that you could walk right up to the bottom. The 
Vidi Crater and the entire volcanic region around it makes you feel a little like you're walking on Mars. I'm not sure I'd ever get used to the stench of sulfur, but I'd definitely go back nonetheless because the landscapes are so surreal. The abandoned DC plane on the black beach at Solheim Mazandur is pretty eerie, but it'd be a whole lot better to come at a time when you have the place to yourself and aren't surrounded by selfie sticks. It's still worth the hour or so it takes to walk to and from the plane, if only to stretch out your legs from all the driving. Number four on my list is Seljalens Foss, a waterfall I've listed slightly above Skoga Foss because, as it turns out, being able to walk behind the waterfall makes it way more fun. Oh, and if you're wondering why Buffer's not wearing a shirt, it's because he didn't have a rain jacket and wanted to keep his shirt dry. Or so he says. What bet is this about? <laughs> Yo, I gotta look good in my tank. <laughs> I was gonna see this fucking lot. Yeah. 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 This is for Tinder, bro. <laughs> this is your new Tinder. Where is it, huh? Oh. I would take the headband, not first. Huh? <laughs> right. Can I see the snooze? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, oh, yeah, I honestly on. hate Buffer. <laughs> Who looks like that that doesn't work out like eight days a week? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Those don't look as good. It's more right in here that hey, looks very actually. impressive. <laughs> wow. Perfect. It's like I can't look anywhere else. Can <laughs> you? Uh, okay, let's go do this. Selja Vala Lauk swimming pool is a 25 meter man-made pool. It's covered in algae and not as warm as a lot of other hot springs in Iceland. But that's a problem you can easily fix by jumping into the ice cold river below, which really puts things into perspective. So here we are, Sean, doing something very stupid. Lou, kind of a hardo, wants to uh, go into the polar plunge. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wants to go back to the polar plunge. Do you want to go to the, the polar plunge? I think I'm mostly doing it for the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're doing it. This is how Lou does it, right? <laughs> Colby, you're just here for the ride, right? I think so. <laughs> yeah. So you might go don't film the shrinkage. <laughs> Is it recording properly? Can I see? It's so dirty. How oh, cool. Right. Should I say the line that I said yeah. earlier? Yeah. Uh, Let me fuck. see. Look, before? <laughs> Alright. Alright, now, now the polar plunge and uh. Uh, I'll just leave this here for now. Okay. I'll probably put it in my pocket. Muscle movement has stopped. 
All right, let me see the after. Ah, uh, yeah. Is there anything there? <laughs> How was it? Not that bad. No, it's actually better than the first time we did it. The beer house. I think, yeah. <laughs> Deti Foss is supposedly the most powerful waterfall in Europe, and when you're standing right in front of it, it's hard to imagine anything more impressive. Pull him up! Pull him up! <laughs> And finally, coming in at number one, there's the Reich de Delour Hot Springs, which was my favorite part of the whole trip. The hike was beautiful, there's tons of sheep walking through the steam, the water was hot and clean, and the company was great. If you want more details about my top 10 places to visit in Iceland, and some tips for taking photographs there, check out the blog post I made about the whole trip on our website. We'd also like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring our content. Whether you're starting a small business, or launching a new creative project, or just want somewhere to display all your photographs, Squarespace is a beautiful all-in-one platform that can help you make your next move. So get out there, get drawing, get cooking, get photographing, get developing, and don't forget to show us the websites you're building. To start your free trial, head over to squarespace.com slash wildweroam and use the wildweroam offer code to get 10% off your first purchase. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.